Welcome back, Frenferts. Today we're going to check out 3D Hojor's Matte Black PLA. Let's get to it. Right, 3D standard box. There's the logo, 3D Hojor. Joys and more. I remember that from the other one. I bought these as a two-pack. It was a, a matte black and matte uh, white uh, for right about $16 was a, was a decent deal. Uh, 3D printing filament, Hojor, made in China, Joys and more, 3D Hojor matte PLA filament, dot dot dot, racy, plus or minus 0 0.03 millimeters black, after that 3D Hojor matte PLA filament, 1.75 millimeter deep black, one kilogram, made in China new. Over here, matte PLA, 1.75 millimeter, one kilogram. Nozzle temp, 190 to 230. Wow, that's pretty high for PLA. Uh, bed temp, 45 to 60. Print speed, 40 to 100. Made in China. Don't throw away, and a swirly thing. All right, let's check out the Amazon page. So there we have it. You can see it's gone back up in price. Uh, once again, this was a two pack. Not too much there. They got a handful of colors. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right. We have a cardboard spool. Nothing else in the box. Crushed it all. Slight crushing over here. Usually it's over here on the opposite side of the they uh, sealed it on but no so that's it that's that's it all right so it says same thing the box said matte PLA nozzle temp 190 to 230 matches up at temp 45 to 60 print speed 40 to 100 millimeters per second and then in two other languages looks like Spanish and French no that's a German down there or Norwegian something uh Hojor joys and more a lot of joy a lot of joy same thing on the back. Okay. Interesting they don't have the color listed. It just, just says matte PLA. I thought they would at least put the color. So I guess they don't have uh, a deep black and a light black. It's, it's easy open on this guy. Yes, there is. Right back here. Ah. Nice thick bag. That's gonna. Oh no, spools crushed in several spots. Not bad, but. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Actual spooling on the spool is decently even. Doesn't look like anything's overlapping. Seems like it spooled out pretty even here at the end. I'm like a lot of them lately. I'm getting where it's heavier on the one side and just slopes all the way down. Okay. Smell, smell, smell like a spicy vinyl. Let's get out and see what happens. Well, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Okay. Okay. Well, it was definitely packaged nice. No breakage. I mean, I, that is just holding. All right, yeah. Jaded from that last filament where <laughs> like the first whole foot broke off. All right, that's nice. Let's go ahead and check it for dimensional accuracy. They're completely inaccurate calipers. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 1.6. Oh. 
1.6. 1 1.6. 1 so pretty accurate. Feel wise, I don't feel anything obvious. Bit. No. Feels nice and smooth. It does not feel um chalky or toothpaste y or rough. Uh, like the the white that I've had and this green, this matte green that I got, they both are very chalky feeling on the outside of the filament. This does not. It is definitely not shiny. Alright, so we're going to throw this on the printer. We're gonna, as always, we're going to print a calibration cube, a stacko kitty, and a benchy. We'll come back, we'll check the results. See y'all in a second. Alright, we're back with the 3D Hojor Matte Black PLA. Let's check it out. Alright. So, uh, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. I really like this matte black. I, I don't think I've ever had a matte black. Uh, I've had plenty of other matte colors. I just never thought about doing the black. Um, yeah. 215, 100 millimeters per second. Uh, 55 heat bed. Ender 3. And yeah, it looks great. Let's go over to the, mic the uh, microscope. Look at it, if you can even see it. Wow. Look how nice that printed. So check my horrible Y. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that definitely has some issues. It's interesting, just in that one corner. Maybe we need to drop the temperature a little. So like that look at that layer adhesion looks great. Bed adhesion is absolutely fine. Let's check out Z. Really nice and clean and crisp. Really nice. Happy with that. Stacko Kitty. Just as nice. Just as nice. Couple small issues that I usually don't see on PLA. Um, but besides that, everything else is so nice. I really want to spend some time tuning this filament. So let's get Stacko Kitty under here. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, just beautiful. Ears are nice and crisp, no stringing, corners are sharp. We do have some issue right here on this corner. Leading corner looks fine though. Front looks great. Feet look great. Look at this side. Down here into that back corner, these are the small issues I'm talking about. back of the head a little easier you can see right there especially there that is very gnarly I'm not quite sure why it it did that I usually don't get that much of an effect when I'm having issues right on these corners on this calibration test and you can also see on the tail this way obviously had some issues so I'm thinking I need to drop the temperature on this um, I'm gonna drop it a whole 10 degrees maybe even slightly under the recommended temperature just to see what happens but yeah stacko kitty looks awesome meow, meow, meow. okay and then the benchy once again just awesome there are a couple small issues 
a very pronounced seam with this mat. But besides that, everything looks pretty good. We'll go over to the microscope and you can really see the, the issues pop out. Glad I got this working. All right, so there's our Z seam. Besides that, it looks really good. All that's looking good. Tell there, that's pretty straight, but you can see some issues with definition, so that leads me to think I need to drop the tip a little. This looks great. Until you get to there. So that's very similar to the back of the Stacko Kitty, but it's I have not had a filament that printed this nice and then failed for something like that. So, yeah, not too sure. Smokestack, looking great. Go back over here. Let's see if I can focus this thing a little. Looks great. Window looks great. I mean, absolutely no stringing. Clearly see right there in the front, it's sagging a little bit. Looks great. We do have a little bit of an issue right here on the nose. Right there at that hard point. But it is very minor. It is very minor. That's why I think just a little bit of tuning with this filament and uh, it'll come in perfect. Same thing on this side. See the top of the archway had some issues. Just the focus again. There go. Besides that, looks absolutely amazing. Just amazing. I don't know if I'm biased because I just like this color so much, which is also very bizarre for it just being a black. It is a very distinct matte black. So there we have it. That is the 3D Hojor matte black PLA. Uh, this video has helped you out. Caress that like button. It won't report you, I promise. Uh, except maybe in a good way. If you have used this filament and you have had any type of results, let me know. Leave a comment. I, I'd like to hear more info back. I've not, I've only, this is second. Yeah. Second of this I've got. I believe the other was a matte as well. Yeah, it was a two pack, black and white. Um, I don't remember much about the white, except I did not like it that much. But this matte black. Uh, just wow. Just what I really like it. It it looks very manufactured. Very manufactured. So catch y'all in the next one. Y'all have a good one.